The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1,500 K. 1,500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I... Oh. Oh, maybe? I kind of agree with you, but I'm not sure if you're just overreacting, but let's go with I agree. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yeah, I got it. Why does he sound upset, though? <laughs> he really does sound upset. He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> okay. So, we gotta go to the comm room, talk to Kip, uh, I think it was Captain, right? Yeah, he's still Captain. Captain Anderson, let's see what's he, what's he going on with his head. And we're getting dragged, right along with him. Relax, Presley, you're gonna give yourself an ulcer. I grew up on Eden Prime Dock. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? I was, but you were arguing. And I'm very intrigued on why you're arguing. Sounds like you don't trust Arturian Guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a spectre, a Turian spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. That's true. I gotta admit, that is true. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover? Why don't you explain more about this cover? Or what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Also, they haven't told you what was our prime purpose of being here. Oh, okay. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. 
Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. <laughs> on a do-nothing right mission. Seriously. Something big is going on. All right, Tyrion Inspector. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the <gasps> contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. So you're a racist. Well, uh... He's, uh... How do you say that word? Z started with a Zeno something. He's racist towards Zenos. Or to aliens, basically. I don't know. Just pointing out stuff. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No. I guess not, but it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board, especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command, and they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Good luck, Presley, with whatever you were doing. <laughs> All right. Oh, who's these two people? Dr. Chalk was and this one random guy. Uh, Corporal Jenkins. All right. What Let's see what think, they got. Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. This guy is ready to get shot. <laughs> Relax, damn, man. Jesus. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do fine, don't Just worry. Just like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Prove myself in a coos? Dude, I had my friends killed. I was the only person surviving. Prove myself? I was I was lucky to survive. <laughs> the fuck? You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. Exactly. <laughs> don't cool down, goddammit. You don't want to end up like me. <laughs> right. What do you know about Nihilus? Tell me about Nihilus. Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As I for do. Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. That is a goddamn lie. You know the size of a platoon? That's like, that's like a blimp. Except, it's not as fragile as a blimp. You can't take that shit down by yourself unless you infiltrate that thing. <laughs> that's a goddamn lie. I don't believe that. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Alright, quick question. Are there any human Spectres? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Oh, well, there is Spectres isn't. usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on Akuz. Again, with the Akuz. I I'm ready to point this out. Show some respect, seriously. Fifty Marines died there, Jenkins. Exactly. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? Thank you. Also, they did mention that Spectres can pretty much do anything. Isn't that dangerous? How do you control agents with unlimited power? 
I suppose the council could revoke the spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's spectre justice. The corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. The corporals confuse romantic legends with reality. I don't, I don't get that, but uh, okay. All right, goodbye. The waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. So we have learned that the council races don't like humans because we're not part of the council race. That sucks balls. If you don't know what the council is, it's basically a group of these highly developed alien races. They pick one person from each race to represent their own race. And they established kind of like a government thing to run the galaxy in a way. And we're not a part of it. That sucks balls. And racism. <laughs> right now, I list what the hell you want. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk? Then again, ain't, ain't I here to see Commander Captain Anderson? The captain yeah, where is he? Said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. How the hell would I know? I never went there. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? What? Wait, what? Why are you asking me? <laughs> Do you know something? Exactly. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Yes, this please. Is far more than a simple shakedown.